Austria is considered to be one of the best places to live in Europe. This is not surprising considering how clean and safe it is. Its natural beauty, music, and the cultural offer. It is also one of the wealthiest countries in Europe with a stable and prominent social economy. The Austrian visa application and process is relatively straightforward. You need to secure a job, get a work permit, and then apply for a work visa and then travel to Austria and take a residence permit. All third country nationals who want to stay in Austria for more than six months or 180 days are required to obtain a work visa before they leave their country of residence. Austria considers third country nationals those who are not EEA citizens or Swiss citizens. So all applicants uh, that do not have a European or Swiss passport must apply for a work visa to work in Austria. You can also apply for Austria job seeker visa that is valid for six months and allow its holder to stay in Austria and look for a job legally. However, uh, the job seeker visa is not a work permit. Once the applicant has received the job offer, they are required to apply for a work permit like a red white red card as one of the most common work visa options. All applicants from outside the EU or EEA must apply at their nearest Austrian embassy or consulate general in person. Applicants will also be asked to submit biometric data such as fingerprints as well as other documentation. So in order to live and work in Austria, you are required to have an Austria work permit as well as a visa and residence permit. An Austria work visa varies in terms of length and in terms of employment flexibility. The most common type of work visa in Austria that you might have already heard about it is red, white, red card. In this video, you will find all details regarding who is eligible for a work permit in Austria, what types of work visas are there, and how to apply for a work visa and residence permit. So to see how you can meet the Austria work visa and residence permit uh, requirements, stay tuned until the end of the video. Welcome back everyone, my name is Ahmad Reza and here in Persia Global we help those who are in search of better opportunities to work, live or study abroad. In today's video, we will see how you can immigrate to Austria by applying for its work visa and residence permit. First of all, let's see if you need a visa to work in Austria. In order to work in Austria, you must first apply for a work permit. Uh, the only exception to this rule is for residents from the, uh, within the EU or EEA. However, citizens from EU or EEA countries are able to live and work in Austria only for up to 90 days. Afterwards, they must also apply for a certificate of registration or residence permit in order to continue their stay. In general, there are six types of work visa in Austria. They include red, a white, red card, uh, six month residence visa, a student residence permit, job seeker visa, EU blue card, and business uh, visa. For red, white, red card, uh, this visa allows non EU applicants to live and work in Austria. However, employees can only work for the employer specified in the application and must fall into a specific category. For a six month residence visa, this is an option for those who want to temporarily move to Austria to find a job. For students' residence permit, uh, this is a permit given after completing studies or relevant training. A student residence permit holder uh, can renew the permit for 12 uh, more months to find a job or start a business. For job seeker visa, the job seeker visa is issued to highly qualified non-EU citizens um, who are looking for a job in Austria but do not have an offer. To be eligible for the job seeker visa, applicants need to score a minimum of 70 points out of a maximum of 100 points based on the points criteria system which includes age, qualifications, language abilities and work experience. 
For this visa, I'll record a separate video with more details. For an EU blue card, uh, as an alternative to the red, white, red card, the EU blue card allows applicants equal work rights to Austrian citizens. And finally, for business visa, in this category of visa, applicants visiting Austria for business activities uh, for less than six months can apply for a business visa to stay compliant. In this video, we will discuss the most common employment-related immigration pathway to Austria, which is a red, white, red card in details. And in another video, we will get familiar with job seeker visa application process. So let's see uh, what is a red, white, red card. Austria's red, white, red card uh, offers a residence permit for third country nationals who would like to work as skilled employees in Austria and want to stay in Austria on a permanent basis. There isn't only one red, white, red card, but a total of seven subcategories. This card is a work and residence permit that allows its holder to stay and work in Austria for a period of up to two years. Not everyone is eligible for this type of visa since it is issued to highly skilled individuals from other countries who wish to work in Austria. The eligibility criteria for this permit are measured with a points system. Within the system, a personal attributes such as language, skills, professional achievements, age, and work experience are all scored accordingly. Family reunification or immigration is possible with all these residence permits. Family members, uh, wife or husband, civil partner, children can apply for a red, white, red card plus enabling them to freely access the Austrian labor market. You will qualify for a red, white, red card if you fall in any of these categories. You are very highly qualified worker, you are a skilled worker in shortage occupations, you are among other key workers, or you are a graduate of universities and colleges of higher education in Austria, or you are a startup founder. The permit is issued in the form of a card with a picture and it serves as an ID. For this reason, it is important to keep it in person in cases where you need to prove your residence status. Preparing and submitting your work permit application goes on as follows. You and your future Austrian employer uh, assemble all uh, the necessary documents. You decide where in Austria you are going to live. Your future employer submits your application to the Immigration and Residence Authority in Austria. Alternatively, you submit your application to the Austrian Embassy or consulate in your country of residence. Next step is processing of the application. While different Austrian authorities process your application, you may hand in any last missing documents via email if possible. The Immigration and Residence Authority then provides you with a preliminary approval. The Immigration and Residence Authority notifies the Austrian Embassy or Consulate in your country of residence. You apply for your visa D within three months of receiving an invitation by the Austrian Embassy or Consulate. After receiving your visa D, uh, you may enter Austria. You enter Austria and have a personal appointment with the Immigration uh, Residence Authority in Austria. You have your fingerprints taken and present your original personal documents. Your residence permit is then printed. You can start to work in Austria as soon as you have received your residence permit. Remember that you cannot submit your application until you have decided your future city of residence in Austria. This is because your future local residence decides which Austrian authority will process your application. Also, please keep in mind that you will need to register as a resident uh, upon uh, immigrating to Austria and before picking up your permit. This means that you will need to look for appropriate housing during your process. What are the requirements for an Austria work visa? In addition to the basic Austria visa requirements, 
Uh, you will need some specific documents for a work permit, including some of or all of the following documents. I mean, you don't need to necessarily have all of them in your documentation. Some of them are for managers or researchers, etc. A statement of the employer. Your employer must provide you with a statement according to the Act of Governing Employment of Foreign Nationals. Proof of professional qualifications. These include references and employment verification. Evidence of language skills. You must provide proof of German or English language skills with an internationally verified diploma. Research activities. Uh, you also need to submit any research publication or declaration from a university that you work as a researcher or at a research center. Patent registration, a patent registration uh, by a quotation from the national or regional register of patents if applicable. Proof of uh, last year's annual gross salary, uh, these include tax statements uh, providing your salary. Proof of your previous possession, uh, you must provide a declaration from your previous employer that you worked in a leadership possession. Proof of your previous company status. You must also provide uh, documentation that the company you worked at is listed on the stock exchange. Proof that you studied in Austria. Uh, these include confirmation by means of your record of studies and relevant exam certificates. Proof of habilitation. This is a postdoctoral lecturing qualification that recognizes you as a qualified individual to do research or teach uh, within a scientific field. Employment contract. You need to provide a copy of your contract from your current employer in Austria that states your annual gross salary. Well, let's find out how you can apply for an Austrian work visa. In order to apply for a uh, red, white, red card, there are a few steps you need to follow. Uh, step number one, secure a job in Austria. You must have a job ready for you in Austria before you apply for a work permit. If you don't have evidence of work or work contract, uh, you are not allowed to apply for the red, white, red card visa. Step number two, apply for the work permit. Once you are employed by someone in Austria, you're eligible to apply for a work permit. Your employer can apply for the permit for you in their local residence authority uh, with a link below our video, or you can apply personally at a, a, a representative authority, embassy or consulate uh, within your residence country. You can also find an Austrian embassy in your country via a link in our description section. Step number three, apply for a work visa. While an Austrian work permit allows you to work and live within Austria for a lengthy period, unfortunately, you cannot enter Austria without a D visa. You must apply for a national D visa before you move to Austria. A national visa lets you stay in Austria for up to six months. In this case, uh, this visa's um, only purpose is to allow you entry in Austria and uh, once you pick up your red white red card uh, the visa won't be necessary. Remember you have three days after you enter Austria to register with the registration office for a residence permit. Step number four, travel to Austria. Once you have secured a work visa, you can travel to Austria freely, pick up your work permit, and start your new life in Austria. After a two year period, you can apply for a red, white, red card plus, which enables you to stay in Austria for two additional years. But you should apply for an Austria work visa. For your national D visa in order to enter Austria, you have to apply at your local office, either an embassy or consulate. For a work permit, you can also apply at local representation, but your employer may also apply for you in Austria. You should apply for your work permit first 
if you get the permit then uh, the visa process should go much easier since you're already registered as a future employer in Austria so let's see how long does it take to get an Austria work visa the processing time for an Austria work visa usually takes about eight weeks uh, you should hear uh, from the embassy by then uh, though keep in mind that sometimes delays happen for a number of reasons like backlogs or a large number of requests etc how long does an austria work visa last an austria work visa lasts two years during this time you can work and live freely within austria just like any other resident in austria if your employment contract is over before the two years are up uh, your visa will last for the time frame of your work plus an extra three months how can you extend an Austria work visa if you want to extend your work permit once it is about to expire you can apply for an extension of your red white red plus card which lets you stay for two more years in Austria moreover after you have had a red white red plus card for two years you can apply for another card and uh, this time you will be able to stay for three years you must apply for the extension three months before your visa expires if you have been living uh, with a work permit for five years in Austria you are qualified to apply for a residence title long-term resident EU your residence permit needs to be renewed too please note that in order to qualify for an extension you must also fulfill module one of the integration agreement completing a module one means that you have basic knowledge of the German language according to the common European framing of reference for languages or CEF there's a question here that uh, can you switch employers with an Austria work visa uh, well you cannot switch employers with an Austria work visa a red white red permit is issued with only a specific employer if you wish to work for someone else uh, you must apply again for the work permit you can however work for another employer if you hold a red white red plus card for other types of Austrian work visa and there are a few other types of Austrian work visa that you can apply for depending on what suits your situation best EU blue card an EU blue card is a type of work permit that is not based on point system in order to qualify for an EU blue card you need to meet a few criteria you have completed your tertiary education at an accredited university at least a three-year program your salary is at least 1.5 higher than the annual salary in Austria uh, in 2021 the amount was around 65,000 euros there is no one from equally qualified Austria or EU available and qualified for the position that has registered as a job seeker uh, with the public employment service you must have secured work at least uh, for the period of one year in Austria can I bring my dependents to Austria with a work visa? Yes, you can. If you hold a red, white, red card, your family members can apply for a red, white, red card plus, which allows them to work and live in Austria for one up to two years. Family members are considered a spouse, same sex registered partner and minor children. How much does the Austria work permit cost? An Austria work permit in its whole will cost about 160 euros. You will have to pay 120 euros when you submit the application and additional 20 euros when you receive the permit and 20 euros for the police identification and data. Thanks for your watching. I hope this video could help you on your immigration journey to Austria. Please don't miss out on other valuable videos in our channel for finding better opportunities to work, live or study abroad. As always, pin all your hopes always on God. You will never be pinned down by man. Until next video, over and out.